Welcome to the MBX Films Theater, now showing The Mandalorian, because we're going to open up this Cara Dune figure from the Vintage Collection line. Cara Cynthia Dune, that is, her full name. And we'll open up this figure and talk about her character on the show and why you'd want to add this to your collection. So let's open it up. So, of course, you can see Amazon decided this would ship in a bubble pack instead of a box, and she paid the price, but the figure seems to be intact, so we're going to open it up. Shouldn't be a problem, but... They probably need to respect uh, the figures a little better on the shipping because if I was leaving this in the box, that'd be some bad shape. But we don't need to worry about that because we're just going to open it. Ha ha ha! Always be careful with your vintage collection figures. They are not too tough and hardy of figures. So first of all, this character, of course, is ex-Rebel uh, Alliance, and she kind of left just because it, it got boring after the war, because the Mandalorian is set after Return of the Jedi, where the Empire is mostly defeated, and I guess she was getting bored with some of the cleanup crew business, but if you look very closely, her little facial tattoo is the Rebel Alliance symbol. I think some people get confused once in a while when she says a uh, shock troop and they think she was Imperial instead, but not quite the case. Another strange arm kind of tattoo there, but got her big thicker armor and things here, which looks great. Just overall a bigger lady just for handling her larger arms and things, being a shock troop. Pretty awesome. This is the pistol that she has a holster for. The scope on the outside like that. Of course that is nicely detailed with the brown handle and all that. Then she does have her large rifle, which might look a little familiar. It kind of looks like the, uh, the rifle some of the sand troops had in the original Star Wars uh, New Hope. The RT-97C, uh, but it's not quite the same shape. Uh, mostly it's going to make you think that because of these huge barrels on it. So, and everything in this show is just kind of like very much reminding you of a lot of original trilogy pieces. And they are sneaking in more and more uh, prequel trilogy things just because that does have its own generation of fans as well contrary to popular belief uh, she'd probably look a lot better uh, displayed with her heavy arms just because she was like the shock troop that comes in with the bigger uh, bigger weaponry and but she does have that hand-to-hand -hand fighting ability as well but she doesn't really have any related weapons to hand-to-hand -to -hand with her so pretty great choice uh with the very limited mandalorian figures that have been released that definitely would put her uh, high on the list as uh, a top character to make from that show after the mandalorian himself she actually has a lot of smaller finesse details of like maybe paint wear with the silver coming through her blue painted armor here and there. So it is nice to see and then her kind of unique hairstyle also. <laughs> a little dirtiness on the shoes and some of that armor chipping on the legs as well. But again, I always like to warn on the uh, vintage collection that the legs don't just come straight up. You kind of need to do uh, this kind of turn where you can see the joint and then they can come up. So it's, it's tricky. I've, I have broken a... Uh, one at least not thinking about moving the legs like this so always be careful with your vintage collection that's why sometimes it is just easier if you can just get the five points of articulation line that they've kind of stopped for right now uh, but for a, a big time character like her from the show then i think the vintage collection was for sure the way to go so she could really hold her big gun and switch to the small arm pistol as well do some much better poses for those yeah, Cardoon, I hope we get maybe some flashbacks of her uh, missions with the Rebel Alliance, just because that would be interesting. There might be some link, you know, a place that she wiped out, but considering the Empire's still around in the show instead of completely wiped out, uh, we might get some backstory more with her, and that would be great. She has a great uniform and look and character and purpose, and she had a great introduction on the show as well. So I definitely wanted to represent her uh, with kind of starting to collect some of the figures from the Mandalorian show. That was a really great show, just bringing it back down to a little smaller scale and kind of getting to play around with stuff like, you know, the more background kind of characters and aliens and things uh, from the other trilogies that we didn't get to focus on before. And that's really the strength of the show there. And that's why I wanted to collect Cara Dune, and she looks great with this. Heavy weapons.